Yes, all right, sir. microphone check, one, two, skip all the bullshit. You already know the Gemini Scorpio podcast is here, episode, this is actually 55. Mm. I know. 55, right to 55. Oh, okay. Yeah, right to 55, hashtag right to 55. People, I know people are probably like, where 54? We gonna leave it where is that? We gonna leave it where it stands. <laughs> we gonna leave it Put where it is it in the dirt. Fifty four like just <laughs> there. Um, babe, yes. how you feeling? I feel great. You feel what I'm saying? We in Atlanta. We in the A. We in the A. A you feel me? We ain't never shoot in the A. We ain't never shoot nowhere else but outside, like fucking PG County. Our house. Yeah, like our green couch. And we it, it had. We had to get some dealing with, some used to because it's different. Yeah. But we here, we made it work. We made it work. And we I got love it. Guess here. We got guests. So we got Lonnie, yeah. TK. Hey. Um, how do we introduce you guys? You guys are comedians. What what, what do you guys like to be called? Uh, I call daddy. Oh, ew. Hey. Oh, you call him daddy. Hey, hey. Piggy oh. making off that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> I'm just a real ass nigga. You know what we can cuss, right? I can cuss. You can cuss. Yeah. We made it yeah. 45 seconds. Yeah. 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 Nigga said, I'm just a real ass nigga. Yeah. 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 You know what I'm saying? But no, we, we, we um, are influencers and content creators on all platforms. You can say Instagram, uh, uh, TikTok, YouTube. YouTube Facebook. is our main thing that both of us do. She has her channel. I have mine. And um, you know, we also do our couples thing too, and all of that. So that's dope. Um, I am an actress, yes. a writer, and a director. You better tell them. So, and I got my master's degree, so don't play with her. So you're not, not you're not a comedian. You're an actress. I, I'm a comedic actress. Okay. So yeah. I don't. People be trying to push me to do stand up, but yo, I get dehydrated so fast. <laughs> I can't imagine being on the stage for like that long and like not drinking yeah. like so we got you so some, many cups um, of water. water right yep mm -hmm. right, yep just making sure. got some yeah. water. Yeah. um like yeah. no, I, I get dehydrated so fast but yeah i don't i consider myself more of a comedic actress than an actual comedian okay i just happen to be funny just right. fuck my intro then huh you fucked your shit <laughs> no i'm just saying that my intro was for both of us and then you oh, was just like i am an actress <laughs> fuck all this shit no, this baby, nigga i said got, what do you want to be called all right, no, nah, go ahead. This I is, was talking for This is you. fun to like sit yeah, back and let another couple just yo, do that couple let thing. Let me tell you, yes, you man. are in for nah, it. Yeah, <laughs> I, I hope y'all are ready. It's a, it's a whole lot been happening. Gemini, Scorpio? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You the Scorpio, you the Gemini? Yes. Mm -hmm. Taurus, Scorpio. Ooh. Hey, it's a lot going, going on back. in this room now. Bull and real nigga, that's all it is in the relationship. You know what I'm saying? What is it in a relationship? It's just just bull and then real nigga. You better tell him as a Scorpio. You said bull? No, like, because you a Taurus. Yeah, bull. I oh, I thought like, you said boo like it's in food, but like I the thought blood you meant like bullshit. <laughs> That's what I thought. No, That's no, what I said, bull, no, nigga. like bull, like the actual animal. Like, oh, a what? <laughs> Damn, a what? Damn. Oh, he was talking Niggas shit. Already, you already on? You already on edge? Okay. So, you guys uh, are you guys from Atlanta? <laughs> nah. nah. <laughs> Uh, Nobody that lives no, in Atlanta is from no, Atlanta. Yeah, I, I only know maybe shit. two people that's actually <laughs> from Atlanta. Yeah, that, um, I'm from Brooklyn, New York originally. Hey, yo, I'm weak as <laughs> hell. <laughs> nah. I am. Uh, I'm from Brooklyn, New York originally. I moved out here. Um, shit, wait, wait, 2020, 11, 10 years. Wow. Mm. This August will be 10 years that I moved out here. I moved out here for college, went to Clark Atlanta, knew I was never fucking moving back. Mm. Ever. What about you, bro? Uh, maybe I should have went first. Mine, <laughs> mine, mine, not as good of a place. Uh, I'm from Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Baby, them corned beef sandwiches where's be that? slapping. Don't do that. That's, that's it, though. That's, yeah, I was about to yeah, say, where is that? See, that's what I'm saying. So, so is that Sade? the cheese date? Yes. Yeah, yeah, the cheese date. So, Sade day. is actually, this is her. She usually, usually be like, so the people that be in the comments saying bullshit, they from like me, Milwaukee or like oh. Idaho or somewhere. So, okay. <laughs> that's what she, so normally don't pay I them no that, mind because they be from like. I'm sorry, because. <laughs> Nope. Nah. I, I be like, my favorites is like Utah, Arkansas, Milwaukee. <laughs> but I just be, you know, like them little rural states that'll be, you know what I'm saying? They come in it's here. It's probably not even a small but state. I know, right I know. Niggas. That's my ignorance. And I apologize. I apologize. It be like that. When, niggas but it still be our motherfuckers from Arkansas or Utah because I know it be y'all. Right. Talk so fucking that be talking cash shit. But I not know. Connecticut, though. Fuck no. Fuck you no, talking about Because Connecticut, Connecticut is definitely vibes. one of them states that niggas think like Connecticut. That's what they think. I'm saying. I don't think that. I'm I did until I went there. Okay. That's you're you're from a tribe because you're yeah, in the tribe area. Like, it's she all knows. the same shit yeah, to me. She I, I still think that though. Um, well, well, come and on, what, Milwaukee boy. No, I, 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 come on, what <laughs> I'm saying, what I'm saying is we relate on that. Dang, <laughs> All right, you right, you right, you right. All right, so you from Milwaukee? I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, I'm from Milwaukee. So that I think that's really all I can say about that. Oh, oh, I guess we gave, so 
same story, kind of. Um, college, Atlanta, and I knew I always wanted to get out of Milwaukee. It was a small town. It, it's not. It, it's bigger than what people yeah. think, but still, I just know that my dreams were bigger than that. So yeah. came to Atlanta. I just loved it. Yeah. I loved everything That's about dope. it. I'm so never you straight leaving. from Milwaukee to Atlanta. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's dope. Okay, well, um, we appreciate y'all for being on the show. Thanks for uh, Before us. we get into the show, let's Thanks do some shout outs real quick. Yes, first of all, we want to shout out Tip Fusion Tips. First mm -hmm. of all, these are lollipop hookah tips. She Fire. got one right now and she keeps... <laughs> <laughs> This might not be good for my image. Whoa, whoa, be careful. It's going to be a meme. We're going to be so some memes. So the problem is, the only thing is, if you're a hookah hog like right me... right here. God damn. I'm going to show everybody like what I get. <laughs> Damn. Nah, because I ain't do what I do. You she is ain't. You be able to slide, you know? All right. Yeah, yeah, she yeah. do the thing with it. She do the thing with it. You know what I'm saying? It ain't even that. That little thing with the thing with the thing. Finish the shout out. Okay. God damn. Sorry. So shout out to Jessica. These are lollipop hookah tips. They're so bomb. Like, I like I just love them. I don't even know. Like, it's just, the only problem is I'm a hookah hog, right? So normally I'm, now I keep. On a hookah, I'm not even smoking a hookah, <laughs> so now I'm gonna get yelled at for something completely different. Well, so, they ain't like that. Well, well, they ain't even least, like that. You know what I'm saying? So shout out to Jessica. Shout out to Jessica. Tip and Fusion Tips at Tip Fusion Tip. They come in these cute little packs. Fire, mad flavors. I got a whole bag. And we right we here. smoking it through Catch Twenty Two. And we are smoking it through Catch Twenty Two hookah. You already know the vibes. They here every Sunday. It's yeah. Saturday. So so Shade, but every time we Shade got lucky today because I can't get caught. Smoking no motherfucking hookah through a lollipop, <laughs> so she's gonna have the hookah by herself today. Yeah, so, well, me and well, TK, TK. the guys yeah, yeah. left us out, but it's all good. Yeah, I think yeah, we can even amount of hogging, exactly. and then we just let like, I let her hog, and she let me hog. Exactly, and, yeah, and it, yeah, it works yeah. out. <laughs> it, works, yeah. it really works. So, what out. happens when the 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 candy is gone. I feel like, you so know what I also like about it? It's like, it looks like it's almost going to take forever for this to dissolve. Like, yeah. like, cause I keep eating and it's not really going nowhere. Then I keep getting a hookah back and I'm like, then I keep sucking it like a lollipop. Then I'm like, oh, so it's like by the time it dissolves, like, you need to, you need exactly. to give it up. So, so question, are you really sucking it like a lollipop or are you sucking it like a dick? I'm really sucking it like a lollipop. Cause if I sucked it like a dick, it wouldn't be here no more. That's what I'm saying. So Free question, how, how many licks will it take <laughs> to get to the center? I'm going to tell you at the end of the hot podcast. I don't hey, think you're going to remember. This sound like the beginning of an orgy. Or <laughs> <laughs> I don't, I don't All right, y'all y'all better go, man. I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell you. I'm trying to walk this path with Jesus and y'all over here like, I'm like, I know, baby, I'm if like, they man. start right now, what you going to do, baby? How you going to act? Because I'm going to let you know that like, I'm with it if you with it, but I'm just saying like, I ain't, I just don't, I want to make sure we on the same page. I, all right. All right, man. Now, all right, go ahead. Come on here. My bad. My bad. So I only share with girls, so I mean, that probably wouldn't work. Yeah. But yeah, never mind. I yeah, it wouldn't. Um, it so wouldn't. Right. No, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. It wouldn't have shared thing. It was just like. A, no, you ain't never been in the same room with a nigga. Like, all right, no, all right, no. We ain't gonna talk about it. My bad. My bad. I thought we was just a group. That's all I was talking about. I was like, you had your your plate. I got my plate, but we still eating at the same table. <laughs> That's all I was saying, but no, nah, my bad, G. Uh, Please don't <laughs> ram his ass hey, up. My my fault. Um, y'all hey, need to. Yo, need to go. So, yo, my bad. All right, so look, I wanted to uh start. So we usually just get straight into the podcast and start on some bullshit. But we actually, <laughs> speaking of Atlanta, we in Atlanta. So Welcome. you know what they, what they say is- uh, Welcome to the A, shouty. Yeah, yeah. You know what they say, when you're in Rome, you do what the what? Romans do, right? right okay. Right. So um, it's a, a card game. I don't even think I know the guys, and hopefully they would appreciate this shout out. So make sure y'all check out our last couple standing. Um, mm -hmm. I don't know what I they do, actually. Game. I just seen the game on Twitter, and yeah. my line brother showed, showed it to me. I thought it was dope. So I was like, you know what? Since we're going to Atlanta, they Let's from Atlanta. Do what the Atlanteans do. Why not? Okay. Fuck it. So I pulled out. I had somebody pull out some random cards. And since we both couples. Ooh. Okay. I'm going to shuffle these motherfuckers. Ooh. Oh, you did it? God. And I'm going to see. You didn't know who to swing on at the end of the I'm podcast. I'm going to see what we're yeah. oh. we <laughs> Y'all ready? We're going to get it popping. Yeah, I didn't know this was let's happening. Yeah, yeah, no, no, I'm nobody knew. This is a surprise. 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 Uh -huh. So let's see what's going on. All right. So first Pre -ga one. Pre-game night, guys. <laughs> First one, they put a lot of words on him. I'm glad I ain't drunk yet. God damn. All right, his his says, when arguing, you know you're right, but also no being right will hurt your partner's feelings. Do you let them win the argument or hurt your or hurt their feelings? Man, fuck you. It's me or you, bitch. Who's Wait, it's me or you? That's toxic. No, let me tell you, you. No, that's a Scorpio. It's fucking me or you. That's bitch. a Scorpio. Oh, so okay. you, you gonna hurt our feelings? Yes, no, he will. Yeah, I'm hurting yours before I yes. hurt mine. Like he fucking will about. every time. Period. I am. What a, you saying, Lonnie? What's up? I let him have it. 
because I know me, I, I go overboard. Like when I get mad or when I get into like, I, I'm, I'm digging in. Like I'm, I'm sticking a knife in the that out. So, but it take a minute for me to get there. Yeah. Right. This Scorpio is a real life fucking mean. Like okay. real life, y'all can be. The, the, hey, no, no, I look, told her she was mean. A couple look, times. Look, no, like they could be real life, like, like bro, crazy. like I thought you said you love me type shit. Like right, you know, like, like what are we talking about right if here? You love me, you wouldn't have. Like done. why would you do that? Like right. this nigga could ignore the fuck out of me, and I'd be like, hello. He's like, I'm not talking to you right now. She, you want to go ahead and defend yourself, bro? Can we just real quick? Y'all think y'all think we could just pray? Yeah, yeah, come on. <laughs> I, I love a prayer. Yeah, we gonna we just need just just let's just say just pray real quick just because Jesus wept. Who Jesus Jesus wait let me say the prayer. Hold on, <laughs> don't, don't pray for me. Hold on, um Jesus, I just come to you as humbly as I can. I hope that this podcast goes great because these topics. Oh Lord, um, <laughs> I thank you for everything you've done for for me um, and these people in the room. Lord, Lord continue you. to bless us all. And uh, in your name we pray. Amen. 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 It's about oh, to get man. real. It's, it's about to get hard. real. Um, <laughs> I don't know, cause TK be doing a lot sometimes, so I just be trying to like ah, uh, it's like a balance with me. Part of me be like, no, nah, you just gotta stay in this ground. The other part of me be like, it. How much does this matter? Like, how much does this actually mm -hmm. matter to the growth of y'all and anything? So I don't know. I deal with that. I don't. I don't really know how to answer. His, I think it's his way of letting me have it. He be like, okay, all right, <laughs> okay, all right. That's his way of letting me have, it, but it's condescending as fuck. So Shadi always says I'm condescending, but it's just yeah, be like, yeah. I'm trying to grow. Like, you know what I hate? When I'm being called passive aggressive. I fucking hate that. I'm going to tell man, you why. come on, man. Stop, man. Because I'm going to tell you why I hate that. I'm going I'm I'm to I'm I'm tell you why I hate being called passive aggressive. Because I can get aggressive. And I've been aggressive Damn. a lot of times in my life. So now when I'm working on my anger to be calm, don't call me passive aggressive because I could give you real aggression if I wanted to. But yeah. I'm taking a step back. Yeah. And I'm breathing. breathing, so I'm not being passive aggressive. I hate that. Like that's my. Do you trigger. know? Do you know what passive aggressiveness is? I what was is about it? To go. It, it, is, it, up, it is literally not you, anything you just explained. Exactly. Passive aggressive is you have an issue and you're not adult enough to fucking speak on it because you might think. And the only reason I say adult enough is but because you'll act away on it. Yeah, you will but act away. So you so all of your it, act, you, act away. in your mind you're like I'm breathing, I'm Ding. doing this, but you're still walking around the house mad as fuck. Right, doing right. But so stuff. but then it's like no, because men a lot of times be like you. It's like when you ask a woman be like you good, she's like I'm fine. I just find it funny how exactly so so but just men and, have and that their way and that, of doing and, it. And, yeah, and that they in itself is it. it's a form of passion aggression in a woman. Okay, but men it's like nah, like if you got it. If, especially if you have a woman mm -hmm. that is asking you what the fuck the problem is right. and trying to be like, okay, how can we move past this? Passive aggression is, I'm cool. Like, it's good. Like, I understand. I Ain't nothing what wrong. It is. Yeah, he'll, he'll do I'm that. Cool. He'll be feeling the way. And I'm, like, I'm, I'm like, chilling. Jay's so favorite I, is, I'm, I'm not chilling. stupid. I know, I, so, I'm chilling. I'm chilling. So I'm I, chilling. Can I ask y'all a question? <laughs> You're my woman. You're his, his lady. Um, Even if it's something wrong, right? And I'm saying I'm good, why not just leave me the fuck alone? So like, if, if that's not me just saying, okay, look, I'm chilling, something hurt my feelings or got me but, upset. But what's, Say wrong, that. but what's wrong with and saying, so what's wrong with saying something hurt my feelings that got me upset? I don't want to talk about it right now. Can we talk about it later? I'll what is you. wrong with that? Whenever, whenever you let me speak and finish what I'm saying, I can Fair tell enough. you. So what I was going to say is, again, when I'm angry, right? And you ask me a lot of times, for me, I can't speak for everybody else. For me, I'll be like, you know what? There's some things going on. But I'm chilling. Or I do feel away, but I'm chilling. You don't have to force me to say anything. You know what I'm saying? Because at that point, I'm not like me saying I'm chilling is not being passive aggressive aggressive. It's me channeling, channel, channeling my emotions. You I don't think saying? that's passive aggressive though. However, what you just explained is me challenging my emotions and you're challenging that. And I feel like that's not your job as uh -uh, my lady. No, to so challenge. my thing is like see that uh uh see if, if I tell if I tell you that I'm cool and like like I'm cool, that's mm -hmm. that's something different. Let's talk about it later. That's something different than me being like, no, nah, I don't got no issues. I ain't got no problems. Right. Shit is cool. Because I feel shit, like. Shit, shit, I right. Shit, shit gravy. Because you don't you want to deal with your emotion right now. Mm. But it's an it's there evident that it's a, it's a fucking problem. Right. So. And I think sometimes, sometimes you'll say, I got things on my mind, but I'm chilling. But sometimes you just like, I'm chilling. But I be trying to snuggle. You be. Fucking show the bitch. 
Like, you know what I mean? It's Maybe, like, it's not the same thing. I thought you was chilling. If it's chilling, I could lay here. But like, I normally lay here without I'm a, your arm all stiff, I'm a, trying I'm to just, not give I'm me no room. I'm just be real with y'all. This is, this is what it come down to, and I don't think a lot of women understand this. Um, when it comes to men and their emotions, we're not trained to deal with emotion on any level, especially a black man. So I understand that women can do it, and, it, and, and in y'all mind, it's just like, why can't you do this? We can't do it because essentially, speaking for me especially, I'm 31 years into living like this and mm -hmm. not being able to face emotions. So when you want it your way, but I can't give it to you your way, a lot of times we say we cool, we chilling, but we feel a type of way because we're trying to process what's going on in emotions we've never felt or we've been trained to to minimize or, or, or discard because men are very... Um, Y'all not going, you know what I'm saying? Like, you can't speak up. Like, if anything happens, you're just supposed to suck it up. Men are tough. Men don't cry. Men don't feel this. So when we feel an emotion and we like, well, fuck. I ain't never faced this emotion. Ain't nobody ever talked to me about these emotions. I don't have another positive black male to face these emotions with. It's it's hard for us, but y'all don't get that concept. That's all no, it comes down to. No, it's not that. It's, it's, it's when you be like, I'm not closer. having this conversation. I'm not talking to you right now. Pull your mic closer a little bit. I'm not having the conversation. I'm not talking to you right now. I'm not talking about this with you right now. Mm -hmm. When we're actively having a conversation. And I also think that a lot of men don't admit that. Like, you know what I'm saying? I think it's always a tug of war of, no, nah, I'm just chilling, I'm chilling, versus just saying, like, look, like, I am not emotionally available in that way to be able to talk to you that way. And I think a lot of men don't express that in that way. Or they don't even know that's what it is that they're doing to express it in that way. Right. If that makes sense. That's just yeah. another emotion we are not able yeah. to communicate. It's yeah. just it, the, the, entire, the entire department of communication was never built in a black male is what I'm trying to get y'all to understand. Yeah. So we are literally trying to build it when we're in relationships with women. But... It takes a while. So it takes a lot of patience and y'all want it on y'all time. I no, like it's not. It's not. I'm so sorry to cut ahead, you off. It's not that we want it on our time. It's more so we want to see you working on it. So you cannot just keep saying, yeah. I, 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 I got to work on this. I, I got to work on this. No. When are you? When, when, when the fuck am I going to see some type you of change? I think, day. I think honestly, I feel like it's, it's, a, it's a time both, right? I feel like as humans, um, and I talk about this all the time, like literally all the time. People probably heard me say this more than once, I'm sure. But you know, everybody wants instant gratification, right? Mm -hmm. And that's with life. That's with mm -hmm. like just outside of our partnerships, outside of our relationships, outside of our friendships. We see something, we want to attain that. But we don't understand the sure. process it, it, it gets to yeah. get there, right? So I say that to say like, you know, yeah, we might have problems with communicating, right? But I feel like ladies, they want to be able to communicate with us in a way that they want to be able to communicate with us. And that's okay. I understand that. However, we do have to be patient. Right. But at the same time, I feel like as men, knowing that and getting older and understanding our trials and our and our problems and where we fall at. Right. I feel like we got to do a better job at working on us. So not so I think well, I can only speak for me. One of the things that I'm good with, but terrible at is taking accountability, but taking responsibility. So I'm great at taking accountability for my actions, mm -hmm. but I don't awesome. take responsibility mm -hmm. because and I'm just being honest because I don't do the work to fix it. So I can't continue to, to, to lean on the crutch of, OK, you know. I'm taking accountability yeah. for my action and that's being okay. But then the next time the shit happens, you act in the same way. Exactly. So what yeah. I think as men, you know, we do understand that we have a communication barrier, right? Yeah. So we got to do that's a better job at- That's the accountability part. Exactly. That's the accountability part. Right. But the responsibility part is, okay, now I'm doing it. what- Exactly. I'm going to therapy. Yeah. Now I'm doing, I'm talking to somebody to to get my communication better yeah. so my relationship can be better, yeah. so my yeah. life sure. can be better. For sure. Um, Let me get another card. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's so let's, I agree with that. Let's, let's, let's continue this game. Um, that was a good one. Nah, that was a great one. Uh, this is- is your is your partner the fun police or the fun ambassador? Oh, you're definitely the fun and police. Wow, you're definitely the fun police. You're what? Wow, oh That's hell no! Fucking insane. All right, this wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, wait, hold on, man, chill. Y'all gotta chill. I ain't hey, y'all saw it behind like the scenes. That. Hey, what we and doing? If anybody sure... done pulled up on Jay and I at the podcast? Our team would tell you is okay, Dad. Listen to what she's saying. If anybody pulled up to the podcast, which is what work. It ain't time to have fun. But you drinking. But we're, because okay, we can, and we, we smoke can, and we smoke hookah. Period. Because we're allowed okay, to that do that. And now, yeah, that's a, period. Because we create our workspace. We can do that at our workspace. Okay, so therefore, fun police. It's our workspace. We define how it fun. is. I, what if I enjoy is what I do? There's a time and place for everything. Period. And sometimes ain't the place that, or time to have fun. I This motherfucker is the fun think? police. And am I the fun yeah. ambassador? Or am I the fun police? Mm -hmm. Man. I would shot me up. Say, 
I would say you're the fun ambassador. You just need to know when to fucking hold and the fold and when to walk uh, away. There Kenny go, Rogers, police. because God damn, it's yeah, like y'all. That's, like, that's what I'm saying. Oh, that's what you saying. Y'all be going, too, y'all be going too hard. That's what you saying too. I'm trying to save hard. money. You trying to spend <laughs> it all. It's like God. you, <laughs> you said it'd be crazy because when they you was come in, at the beginning what, of the year, you be like, baby, I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna, we gonna we gonna do this this year because I'm trying to get you the two story closet that you want, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and do this. You know, I want to go here, here. Like, how you want to get a two story closet? Baby, I want some muscles. Can we go to the little? I know you not so. Talking about, I right. know, I yeah, know yeah, you not talking shit. We can do that. You got a bet. You got a worse fucking uh, eating out addiction than I do. I will cook. So does Jay. Don't Jay fucking like, play with me. So if I want some shit, I don't want to hear shit about it Jay because be like, you will drop a bag on food. This too. nigga will drop a He's bag on him food. Too. He'd be like, what's you a know, bag? I know he'll be like, cook. he'll be like, it is. What? What is that to a nigga getting money? <laughs> shit don't mean shit. <laughs> what is that I to mean, a nigga getting money? What is it to a real nigga getting money? money? You know. What Before I'm we even got here, he like, baby, let's just go get smoothies because I ain't gonna hold you. I want something real good after this. And I'm like, <laughs> I worked hard for this. I know that's that him. that is money. You that's feel him. me? He be like, babe, you know, I know we said, but you know, I could really use some poppy cuisine right now. But I could really use. He came to me. I could really use some crabs right now. I swear to God. Came to playing. me about it. What? We need to do better with not eating out. Yeah. I only eat okay. out because you offer. What's so up with y'all, y'all? I, I think, will make food in the house. So okay? what I would say in my defense, and I don't know if you can he help me out can. with this one, right? So for for me, I'm willing to spend in areas if I can sacrifice in others. I feel like oh, when so it comes I gotta to, sacrifice my trip, but you don't gotta sacrifice your crab addiction. And see, I don't understand. Some, I, make, I don't it make, understand. make it make sense. Make it make sense. So a trip, I don't understand crabs. A, a trip. trip is an experience. Crabs. That you will remember for life. Have you ever ate crabs, crabs before? You're eat I love crab legs. Out and it's no, done. not crab legs. Have you ever ate crabs before? I don't like. I don't like. No, I don't know how to do all that. See, listen to what you just said. You don't know how to do all that. It ain't got so nothing to do somebody, with crabs, though, bro. No, no, it does. Crab legs is expensive. Now, listen, period. Let me tell you, let me tell you. Period. If, if <laughs> I showed you how to eat crab, crabs, crabs, guess what it is now? Is an experience. So it's the same thing. So not to me. To you. To you. A trip. So okay. So you. So you just said that, right? So let me piggyback off to that. You said. It's an experience. A trip is an experience to her. Period. But equal, a trip is how much it's money? Equal. It doesn't matter. We're not counting money. We're counting experiences, but right? I'm okay no, I'm with money. experiences. Just like, just like I'm okay with no. sacrificing my trip. I'm okay with sacrificing your seven next crab experiences for my one trip. So because yeah, crab is what you point. choose as your experience, she because crab is what you choose as your experience, you I can't say point. I want to go to Turks. You, you had a great point, but overall, you got to think about it. If you're eating crab and that's your addiction, that's your experience. Once, eventually, once you add up the ticket, it'll it's probably the same, be the be trip. My trip to Miami. It's just because you're it'll spending be so much money at one point. Bag. Do you know who it'll you remind me of? Right now? Is, okay, period. You know, I'm gonna tell you who you remind me of. Shout out to my producer Alexander LeBlanc. He couldn't be here today. You know what I'm saying? Shout he never has Alex. my back. He's always on the girl side. Shout out to him. That's a That's fucking okay. lie. That's a fucking <laughs> no, lie. No, no, I just had to. That's no, no, no. All right, so okay, y'all got y'all got that one. Shout out to Alex. All right, so wait, hold on. Am I the fun ambassador? Or the fun police? Yeah, you be on some wild shit, yeah. I'm I'm the what? You be on some yeah, wild shit. I'm the ambassador, ambassador, I think. Ambassador. Yeah, you, See, you came in regulating your drinks. All right, so we're going to get into you. We're going to we're going to get into the podcast and we're going to lead with this though. Last card. Do you it says you love your partner, but do you like them? Yeah, no, I love and like you. You get on my fucking nerves. Facts. But that's how I know that I love and like you. Facts. Because when I when I really sit back and think about like motherfuckers I don't like, they don't affect me. Yeah. They don't no bother shit. me at all. Like, I'd be like, oh, that nigga just doing that weird nigga shit. <laughs> they ain't got nothing to do with me. You ain't fucking <laughs> me, financing me, or feeding me. We ain't got shit to talk about. I don't, I don't think I ever, like, looked at it. Yeah, I mean, I do, but I just never looked at so that let's breakdown. let's talk about it. Hold up. No, 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 no. Calm down. Chill, 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 Wait chill. Wait a minute. Okay. That's not what I'm saying at all. Well, so what is you saying? I, I love and like you, yes. But I've oh. never I never thought about the breakdown of that, the difference in the two. Like, it's probably niggas out here who, with girls, who love them, but they don't like them. Ah, mm-hmm. oh, this bitch get on my phone. You know, so. Yeah. My mama used to say that to me when yeah, I was younger. Yeah. She'd be like, I love I you, but I don't like you. One of my like friends was just mama. talking about this. He was saying, his, he's like, one of my other friends' girlfriend don't like him or something like that, <laughs> but, she, but, he, but she loved him. Like, something happened. She came to his rescue, but it was like, Throughout, I don't like the, you. Like, throughout the time. Nah, nigga might have got in an accident. I'm going to be here. That's a real right, like, initial hospital. That's a real feeling. During your that. healing yeah. process, I'm going to let you so get on really my nerves. That's a real thing. Yeah, 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 it, it is. is. You see the so, lie in older marriages, too. So I wanted, this bitch. I, wanted to get into, I wanted to get into this, and I, I was about to ask you guys, like, speaking of liking somebody, right, and loving them, do you think that you can really have, I, I'm not even going to say a friendship. Do you think you can have the same type of friendship that you will have with your 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 boys or your girls with your partner. 
because I feel like a lot of times as men, for me, I can't speak for everybody. I know I came into a relationship and I'm like, you know, I want to be friends first. Like, I want you to be my best mm -hmm. friend. I really want us to be road dogs and partners. And then as you, as the relationship like goes down the line, you look at it and I think of things like certain, certain things that I told you, to, I came to tell you that I would tell my friend, it probably ain't go right. And honestly, I mean, we can, I can mm -hmm. take responsibility yeah. as well. Like I probably shouldn't have been in those positions, but I came to tell you because I'm thinking we dogs and we could talk about it. And it was like, nah, why would you even tell her that? Mm -hmm. So I asked that, do y'all think that we can have that friendship? Hell no. No, you don't think so? Mm -hmm. Hell no. You'll never have the same friendship you have with your boys, with your girl. It's not possible. Damn, I was about to say something completely different. I'm happy you answered first. So what you, what you, oh, yeah, now you tight, now you tight. Thing. Now she like, fuck. No, no, because for me, I'm a super understanding ass woman. And if I, if I open Are the door, you now? I am. Mm. Am I, am I understanding? It's a yes or no question. It's not. It's more complicated. It's not. It is. <laughs> I'm, I'm asking you no, a no, yes or no you, question. You, you are the most understanding woman I've ever been. Okay, cool. So moving forward. Oh, that's so right? fucking so, cute. That's so so I, I, I say that to fact. say that I open the doors for a lot of things. And I think what men get fucked up is if you tell your boys some shit and they don't agree with what you're doing, they may not say nothing. As your girl, if you tell me something, we'll and this is, what, this is what men have a problem with. It's not that I'm mad. I'm just like, yeah, no, that shit was foul. You shouldn't have did that. Like, or like, that shit was fucked up. You shouldn't do that. Or if you tell me something, even if, if it pertains to other bitches, whatever. I'm like, yeah, I mean, that's cool. Or, yeah, no, I don't like that. Yeah. The problem, the disconnect with men is they take that as, I can't talk to my bitch about shit now. Because mm -hmm. I told her this one thing and she didn't agree with it. And it's like, no, nah, that's your homies not doing that to you. Because you ain't fucking them, financing them, or feeding them. You they and the three F's, is, I'm assuming that's a relationship. It's the three F's. Okay. The, if you, I, I had, I had a, a, a nigga I fucked with back in college. His ain't no free clout. So nigga I fucked with back in college, he, um, he told me that. He was like, man, fucking you, financing, you're feeding you. They really, that's the base level of anybody fucking mattering. So <laughs> if it ain't one of the three or two of the three, I, you shouldn't even worry about what the fuck they got to say. Um, so for me, it's, your, your homies are more, are more likely to be like, yeah, it is what it is. Like, I, I mean, he said that foul shit. I did hear that he like, damn. He yoked his woman up. I ain't gonna say shit about it. I don't know, but I, what no, homies I, are you talking about? I, my I'm friends say, will call me but out I'm in say, a But I'm saying it's, it's not a, exactly. Like my niggas be like, bro, exactly. you bugging. I be like, fuck all y'all niggas. But that's what I'm, ain't but I'm saying. Me. You're not, you're not, you're not, they're not fucking financing and feeding you or, and vice versa. So you're not gonna be as in your feelings about it if they tell you they don't fuck with some shit. Your woman be like, yeah, no, nah, I don't like that. You like, oh, I can't. Right, cause you probably ain't gonna say that to your friends. Yeah, your friends be like, nah, oh, no, I had them arguments a yeah. lot. Like, y'all don't but understand still, me, fuck y'all. But you niggas. will still go back and tell them shit. Oh, yeah, yeah. So yeah, it's, not, it's just, it's just a different level of standard. Us, like, and I think that's the same thing, because I like, I feel like even with just in friendships in general, like, you know, if my friend, like, say she's super careless and she loses her keys all the time, like, and she come vents to me, like, damn, I lose my keys. I'm like, damn, girl, you, you got to get your shit together. It doesn't affect me. Now, if my nigga do it, like, nigga, we can't get in the house. Right. You you're affecting me. You're affecting me. Like, so now I'm irritated because you're getting on my fucking it's, nerves because you keep losing the fucking keys. It's a different experience. And that's why I do agree where I don't think you can have the same exact relationship because some things just don't affect your friends, but it will affect your significant other. You and know, I, just, I think about <clears throat> it like this because... <clears throat> you can't okay let's say you go to the dmv right and there's a shorty there that working at the dmv she look good and she see that you looking good we talking about With um, the nba the, 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 yeah we talking, the the, yeah, talking about yeah motor vehicle yeah motor vehicle sorry it's different it's different yeah it's part of the motor vehicle so i got you i got you motor vehicle meter vehicle so so <laughs> so because shorty peep you let's say y'all interaction she kind of she kind of bless you a little bit she fuck with you a little more when you're telling your boys a story, you going to tell the story about how Shorty was feeling you. But when you tell your girl the story, you're going to alter the story. Mm -hmm. And and it's it's just because it's you're catering the story to different audiences. Though so that's why you will never have the same friendship with your boys because you're not gonna walk home and be like, baby, different. this girl was feeling me. Shorty had a fat little bubble. You know what I'm saying? I had to play and get it. You're not gonna tell so, your girl like that. And that's a fact. So I not everybody, right? Because mm -hmm. I feel like for me, like I I would at a time. Like, would you? Well, I'm talking about the same inflections and everything. No, that's what the I'm same saying. So, saying so I'm saying at one point in time, I tried it. Well. So, like, for me, and I, I wanted to get into oh, that okay, because gotcha. for me, you know, I always wanted to come into a relationship with somebody that's my dog. Mm -hmm. Like, you know I'm saying, not saying Shadow isn't my dog, but like, I, I think I had this false fantasy or false 
picture in my in my my mind that I could come into a relationship like with my homie almost, yeah, right? Yeah. So it's like I'm like, okay, cool, we can be homies, we can talk about whatever we want, and not understanding the feelings that come behind it. Like yeah, yeah. I can't come to you and say, yo, yeah. this girl, because now she it's probably like, think, bitch, what? what about me, right? Right. right. Exactly. Same vice versa. If she came to me about, yo, this nigga was shit. Exactly what the you know what I'm saying? I'm probably like. Okay, what about me? Mm -hmm. So I think at, at one point in time I did I, I I did think that we could be friends, and then I understood that you know sometimes certain things ain't for everybody. Yeah. But speaking yeah. of, I like that that um, analogy that you put up, right? That leads us into one of our topics. Would you tell your partner if you was if you felt somebody if you felt something for somebody, and it wasn't them? And, but you didn't act on it though. Like you didn't, like, act, on you didn't act on it, felt, but you, you felt, felt something. Like you went out, you went to he McDonald's. I don't know. <laughs> you went to some, somewhere. You know what I'm saying? Shorty was fine. You went to the DMV, MVA for us, and Shorty was fine, right? Would you go home and tell your girl? Would like, you go baby? home and be like, "Yo, I ain't gonna lie, man. I, I like this Shorty, but I ain't do nothing. I ain't do nothing." Yeah, yeah, yeah. He would tell, tell me. me. You would? I wouldn't tell him. Mm. So okay, hold Damn, up. Damn, for real? <laughs> that makes sense. Okay, cool. Now, 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 now let's get to it. What, would you tell me? You sucking the shit out this motherfucker. I ain't gonna lie. Like I just. They dream for like a point second, <laughs> but like, God, they suck this. Shit. Like, you gotta stop that because, like, sorry, it's so like, good. Shout when out you to recording, again. When you recording, you like, God Shout damn, out. you going stupid <laughs> on that motherfucker, dog. <laughs> Shout out to Tip Fusion Tips, dog. This shit, shit got good. Me. This shit good you gotta as slow a down because, like, we got people watching the podcast. Oh. I don't want them to vision my girl. He's gonna, yes. he's gonna cut the clips anyway because he has this, like, Man. weird thing. He doesn't want nobody vision me doing anything. He's I mean, it's too late. It's gonna be no, clips man, gone past I'm going to let you know. In this social media game, no, you don't have to deal with this, dog. Like, you no, all coming up in this? Hey, bro, I look at it as, like, it's flattering because a lot of niggas are not able to pull this quality of woman. Yeah. So when niggas be thirsty, you be like, damn, y'all niggas dumb thirsty. But it's also kind of flattering to me. It'd be like, ah, right, you want this, my bitch? Jay, you like, I say this nuggethead bitch wear a little meat meal braids. Go ahead, like her. Right. <laughs> so, <laughs> little so, meat meal braids under a wig. I so, see so, question. What would you tell me? Okay, so don't lie okay, me. not for real. Like if don't it's just piss like, on me and don't piss on my leg and tell me it's water, but whatever. Maybe so. I ain't doing that at all. Right. So what I will say is like it. It just I feel like it's differences, right? I feel like you know if you see somebody, it's like damn, he fine, whatever. I don't really gotta come tell you that because it's like it's just a thought. Now if it's that's something that's so lingering thinking. in my that's mind different. now, yeah, and I'm like damn, like and 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 say for I don't know, like say my job hires some fine ass accountant nigga. And every time, I'm just like, I can't, like, every day, I'm like, this nigga is I fine. I can't get this shit out of my mind. I think I should tell my nigga. Because yeah, at that point, I agree. We, you know what I'm saying? We need to talk about this. Like, or like, well, I need like, I need to talk about it with myself I didn't let first. You know. But I need, to, I need to let my no, nigga know, like, you know, because I just feel like out of respect, like, I'm. I don't want you out here looking stupid. Yeah, exactly. Like, so, I'm not, yeah. But if it's just like a, damn, that nigga look good. He smelled good, like, whatever. And I, and I never see this thing again. It's just a. There's a lot of fine niggas in the world. Just like there's a lot of fine females in the world. You're not telling me every bitch you'd be like, damn, yeah. show you. Ah. Like, you know I kind of like, just feel like I feel like yeah. the, the male e ego is super fragile. It is. Yes. Um, it's extremely fucking fragile. Yeah. And it's it's about for me picking and choosing your battles. Yeah. I get hit on all the fucking time. Niggas be in my DMs all the fucking time. Right. I am not about to tell a nigga this shit every time. Every time. But if you I, have and, a crush I, on I just, somebody I, though, what you tell me? So so so. But you didn't act on it. So this my thing. Crush is a difference though. Exactly. A crush, like an actual crush, like I have. First of all, if I have a crush of. And it's different levels to crushes. So, like, yeah. there'd be a nigga that you could see when you out at a party. You'd be like, damn, you look good. He know you look good. And that's all it is. Right. I'm not telling my nigga. Right. It's, right. It's, right. For it's, what? It's nothing. For it's what? Impassive. I'm not talking about that, those it's situations. Impassive. I'm talking about situations where you might see a nigga a couple times and every time you see him, like, damn, this Got nigga. I, I, I've, I've never been in that situation unless it was a past boyfriend. Like, that's the only time I've ever experienced that. And in that case, the relationship is usually ending and I'm back fucking with that nigga. So, I, I've never been in a situation where it's like, oh, I got to say that I'm like, so how long you guys Feeling have been, been together? Officially, well, like five, six months. But on a oh, y'all been wait y'all been together for for six months and y'all came on a podcast together. Oh, we have been yeah. we have been best friends for a long time. Okay, okay. So so as y'all as y'all are as y'all are talking about like friendship yeah. and going into we got into our our relationship began on some like working type shit and we yeah. got really close um and we've just been friends for a long we we got into our our friendship without even with with no intent of dating. So we genuinely built up. He knows about all the fuck boys in my past. I know he's about his bum yeah. ass exes that can't beat me. You know, like yeah. I know about all of them. Period. So tell him, like, I gotta say that every time. So just in case a bitch wanna get stupid. You better so, tell him on the like, podcast. I, you trust him, let him know. Yeah, Look you know, at your camera. All my old hoes yeah, can't okay, fight every time. So, None of my old hoes can fight. And if they fight, could, so they couldn't beat you me. Better, so you better so tell there's it. that. There's that. I just gotta make the disclaimer just in case. 
You know, this feels so stupid I, one day. But um, that, it? And it, it, for me, it, we, we've already been friends for a long time. So the way that y'all are asking the question about would you tell your yeah. partner about the friendship? You, kinda, you guys already kind of did yeah, that. Yeah, for me, yeah. I have a complex because it's yeah. like, nigga, we've been homies. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Nigga, you better keep the same the fucking energy. energy. Don't switch up now. Like, we, we got it. We love Woo. each other now. But he, do, but he switches it up. So for me, it. it gotcha. yeah. Now you don't know what I'm talking no, about. No, you got to. You look real lost. But no, you got but to. but in that aspect, at first I would really feel away about it. But just yeah. understanding that's my way of adjusting to yeah. us not being just friends yeah. anymore. Our it's, relationship yeah, I don't have, switched up. I don't have to tell this nigga every single thing that a nigga does or yeah, anything yeah. Different, like, oh, and, and and I, like you said, I think it's a pick your battles thing up. too, because it's it like is. it opens up. What battle you picking though? I'm sorry, I just feel like certain things like I'm like, why do I need to fuck up your day by like, yeah, this nigga keep being in my so what? Because what's I'm the purpose? Answering, no, if, if you have a, I didn't ask that no, question. Okay, okay. Answer the question. I ain't asked that question. If you had a crush on a nigga, Dad. you liked him a couple times. <laughs> you would you tell me? Period. So here's the thing. I've never had a crush on a nigga while I was in a relationship where I'm like, Damn. that's me. I just like I really because I really do feel like love is blind. So like a lot of times, like now I'm really love blind. No love got a fucking sight. Love can yeah, see. Yeah, your love got a. <laughs> I was like, your what? What that got Love ain't blind. Like love no. Come on, go with it, guys. So I'm going with it. Go I'm not, because love ain't so blind. I, love what I'm is saying looking. Is, love got as antennas. far as a crush, that's no, not what that means. Love's not blind. Like I can see if a nigga fine as hell, but I can't see on an emotional attachment. I don't know who my, he is. Like I'm not really good at juggling. Like I like you know what I'm saying. I'm not like I'm not like oh I love my nigga, but oh I could see myself loving him too. It doesn't work like that. Like it just doesn't. Like I might be like oh he looks good, but I'm not thinking of emotional attachment. However, going forward. If I had a crush on somebody and I could see myself potentially, like, say we have to be in the, the same room on times I can't control, like, say it's a mutual friend of my friend, you feel what I'm saying? And I gotta, I, I think I would tell you because at that point, it's like, you know, honestly, I'm I need you to know to, what's I, going I, on. I, I need you to know what's going on because I'm trying to tell you up front, just like I would tell you after. So you know I'm gonna I'm like, I'm I'm keep, keep it 100. If I had a crush you, on somebody, if I like somebody, I ain't telling you shit. The question I'm gonna tell you is, have, well, you ever, have you ever liked somebody? That wasn't the question. But I'm switching. The oh, question was, okay. This. That so wasn't I, the question. But have you ever? I'm asking have the you question. Ever. I said that was That's your question. Let him get his point out. Yeah, let him get his point out real quick. I want to hear the point. I want to hear the point. I'm going to tell you why I wouldn't tell you. I wouldn't tell you until it's real. And then if it's what? real, I'm going to tell you why. The crush is very real. At this point, the bitch is here. She exists. Right. I'm going to tell you. I'm gonna your tell head, you. my head, like she's here. Yeah, so what I would say is for me, you know, I would probably talk to my therapist first. To understand the That's feeling real. Yeah. But, but, but beforehand, That's right? Real. I want to know, is this real? Is this a common thing? Do I have to worry about this? Do I not like my woman and saying, is this an issue? Honestly, right? That's what right. I, I have a therapist now, so I will talk to my therapist. Honestly, right. if I didn't have a therapist, I don't know what I would do, but I'm speaking to myself right now, right? Secondly, right? After the, the information I get from my therapist, <clears throat> then I might will come to you and talk to you. We'll have a conversation. Hopefully, we understand each other and hopefully we understand that there's nothing serious and that we can move past it. What does that conversation look like? Um, I don't know, but I think it would. If I had to do it now, it'd probably be like, you know, Bay, I love you. You know what I'm saying? We've been together for da da da, and it's somebody that caught my eye, caught my eye, or piqued my curiosity. Curiosity, right? Excuse my my um Multiple accent. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so like, I think it would be something like that, and that's why I kind of ask these questions in alignment because it's like it's, it's like all of them align together, right? Because we are friends and we had this relationship before. Before us laying down in bed, before us doing all the sexually, if we have the, this friendship tie and we're really soul to soul connected, right? I can tell you these things and we can walk, walk through it together. We can, we can work out our differences. We can work out our emotions and our pride and our egos. We can put that to the side because we have something real together, mm -hmm. right? But I think, you know, a lot of times what we want and what we have is something totally different. Yeah. Right, yeah. like I want that. I want to be able to have that conversation with my partner, but it's just not. But real. I might not At be as moment. receptive. I, I I think that it, it's just a growth thing. So like I I I know that he comes from a background of not feeling like he has the women in his life that he can't talk to mm -hmm. without them. Ah, that's a lot of us though, as most, men. Right? Yeah. As men, so, a lot of so us have my, those, I, those, I was raised by both my mom. parents, but my my dad is very prevalent in my life, and my father is real heavy in my ear of. No, nah, you can't do that to niggas because niggas, yeah. all they're going to do is do it anyway and just not yeah. tell you about it. Mm. Yeah. Like, like you you yeah. want to make sure that you're, like, my father is you're real, like, I will, I will explain the whole problem to my dad and my father will be looking at me and I look up at the screen and he laughing. And I'm like, nigga, what? He like, yeah, that nigga going to cheat on you if you keep doing that shit. <laughs> like, <laughs> and, and that, but that's why I am this, the way <laughs> I, am. I am. That's why I'm so understanding because he'll yeah. be like, no. Man, he'll he be like, you have, to, me, dad. you have to so, create a space for your man yeah. where... Even if you're mad, like he 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 tells me. Yeah. I hope, like I, I feel like he does. Yeah. Majority of things that he's feeling as it pertains to other women or yeah. anything like that, because like, men have urges. It is 
I don't think that there's a nigga on this earth that is dating it. that that dates that doesn't have urges. So to mm. give y'all a little context, and I told TK this, her dad built a woman that for today's society. Mm. He built a woman that he wanted to to probably this is gonna sound weird, but just accept it, it for like the, the the facts in it. He built this woman for somebody that he would have liked to be able to date, right? Mm. Damn. So a lot yeah. of the problems that That's like deep. black that men is. feel and I I've dealt with it with other yeah. women when I come to it with her and I'm like, she gonna she going the same yeah. way. She doesn't yeah. react like that at all. And yeah. and I know it's specifically because how he trained yeah. her to think. Yeah. Cause she thinks so differently. I understand like why you took the route you did because uh, that's yeah. what we've been trained to condition. It's like, hey, no, nah, can't really come to you and say mm -hmm. all of this. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So it's crazy. Do you think, honestly, just having, having this conversation, do you think, because a lot of this comes with that the backlash and just us as men or a society calling our black woman angry, right? And I feel like that's a stigma that we see a lot or that we hear a lot, right? You yeah. spoke on it a few times. Do you think that angry black woman could be eliminated if more of the father figures was in their life? Oh, oh God, for sure. For as as a woman, for sure. Damn. Because uh, my my mom, my dad have six girls together, yeah. and my my father was in yeah. uh, my life, yeah. kind of in my second sister's yeah. life, and in my third sister's life. But then the last three of my sisters have are completely different women than the first three of us. Uh, and and I know that a lot, as, especially as it pertains to like men and how they treat men. And I don't need one of my, I don't need yeah. nigga for shit. And then yeah. there's another one that's like, if a nigga talk to me any kind of way, where as the first three or me, I spend the most time around my dad, I'm more even evenly yoked of, yeah. yeah, I ain't letting no nigga talk crazy to me. I'm not letting, letting no nigga talk down on me, but I'm still hear you out. Like yeah. I know, I, I, yeah. I know that you want to talk and you just want to have a safe space. So I'm not going to say anything. I'm just going to, what are you thinking? How do you feel? Do you got this bitch that you that's bad? Let me see her. That's my first thing. Let me yeah. see her. Well, there's wanna, a, she there's bad? A I'm like, oh, she is bad. I, I actually want to shout out disconnect. to your dad because, like, you know, I even know some females with their dads in their life that didn't give them the same form of training. So yeah. I think it also just depends on the person, the person in itself. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? What they see that maybe you know. I feel like, like he said, your dad's angle was what men just need from their woman. You know, some men, you know, also treat their daughters like daddy's little girls. Like, you know, yeah. and it's like, don't get a man like me, but not what we need from a woman. You know what yeah. I'm saying? They're training them the opposite way. Like, that's, um, don't that's, no, that's my dad. Like you know what I'm saying? My dad's so, a trash. Yeah. He was a trash. Exactly. Like, so, so I want to give y'all, I want to yeah. give y'all some <laughs> facts, dope. right? Speaking of like, you know, crushes and things, right? Yeah. And I don't know a lot of people, I don't think a lot of people know about this. So, um, this is from the Huff Post. According, according to psychologist, uh, Samantha Rodman, it's a commonplace for people in relationships to develop crushes, especially after a couple has been together for some time. So that's a, a normal thing. Um, as much as we wanna deny it and say we wouldn't do this and that, if we ever got in a situation where I wouldn't be in that posi yeah. position, it's, it's normal. It's a, it's and normal. it's super, yeah. it's more common for men, yeah. more more so. Hey, look, baby, you tell me about her. I think she cute, we could probably make some shake. Yeah. Like, <laughs> we could probably, we could probably make some, we could probably do some things. But if you gonna keep it underneath your, now and and then let the shit fester and all that. Now it's a situation. Now I might handle it different. Yeah, so it's just it's is. just it started mm -hmm. it started young. Just mm -hmm. like the communication barrier. Like women don't know how to talk to men. Yeah, yeah. that's what when you don't have a father in your yeah. life. Yeah. Like they don't but know how we, to communicate and treat. But a do man. we know how to do we know how to communicate with each other though? Because I feel no. like it's a lot of times that I fall short of communicating properly to my woman. So I feel like. I feel like when we say these things, you know, not saying you did it intentionally, yeah. but a lot of times how we speak is the nervousness that we're painting, right? So it's like yeah. women not knowing how to speak to men. Is that really no, the case or is but that it's, what we... It's the other way around because think about it. Oh, were you raised in a two-parent household? No, I wasn't. I, I wasn't either. Oh, well, yeah. I was until sixth grade. Yeah. But it, it starts, and, and I hate to be this person. I never thought I would be this person, but it started in the black household because now you're raised by your mother or a yeah, woman figure. Yeah. Think about how she raised you. You can never talk back to your mother. You couldn't tell your mother how you felt. Mm, that's so now fact. we don't know how to communicate with women. And because the black male wasn't in the household, the women don't know how to communicate back with the men. It's broken. That's a great mm. point. So now we're over here. We're literally actively trying yeah. to repair damage that yeah. has been done because of our parents. Yeah. And we, and it's a it's barrier. And we like, you be saying something yeah. like this. And you be like, why the fuck can't she see this? That's yeah. a fact. And then right. she be saying this. Wall. and be like, Why the yeah. fuck can't wall. you see this? But it's like, we it's never seen it. 
yeah. mesh. Yeah. So we're just at a loss. How do yeah. we? Well, how do we? We we got to a common group. This, Therapy. This, yeah. This, yeah. this this podcast this information. Like this. Yeah. People don't know this. And, just and talking therapy. about it more. Right. All of that just stuff. Just talking about it more and just putting it out there that other people are going through it. And if we could collectively come together just to have a little more grace for each other yeah. as we're going through that journey, yeah. it could get a little cleaner. Yeah. yeah. Every step forward, it's not never going to be perfect. But it's something. But it's something. Yeah. And I think it helps a lot. Yeah. Even like black yeah. love. Y'all yeah. loving on each other yeah. is very important for yeah. like y'all kids to see yeah. for y'all like y'all y'all even y'all parents yeah. to see that Real shit. like your parents yeah. might not have seen that mm -hmm. and for the public to see it so it's like mm -hmm. oh there's i guarantee there's you there people are people at home that are like damn it is okay to like love your girl and be yeah, like okay yeah. i ain't know because i was never shown that affection mm -hmm. but you showing that like people yeah. love when i show tk affection granted yeah. it's it's what i naturally yeah. really yeah. want yes. to do <laughs> it goes <laughs> so far so it's like even that like it's so important yeah. for us with having platforms to like show, show that people. love and really express those issues yeah. all that stuff yeah you might hate her today yeah. but talking about that it lets somebody else know so then yeah. they can be the game changer later yeah. you never know who's watching yeah it will change somebody else's life that yeah. will change the world for better for especially sure. as black people we yeah. got to we got to so, so true that's actually a great segue um i mean that was a great segment i want to move forward right so you guys do a lot of work together mm -hmm. um y'all do a lot of skits together shout out to I, so i actually saw the skit the um drumline skit on twitter <laughs> super i thought it was funny funny, as hell. Super funny. <laughs> so um he can't that was his idea we kind of had we kind of spoke on this before and i wanted to speak on it with you guys because i see that you guys mm -hmm. work together a lot we working together a lot you sucking the shit out of this motherfucking sorry, lollipop. Okay. But good, I, um, got you. How is, I got you. but I mean, y'all still relatively new and y'all had a friendship before this, but how is, was y'all working together before y'all got into a relationship? Yeah, for a yeah, long time. Yeah, you did time. say that. You did say yeah, that. for a long time. Now that y'all official, has it changed anything? Fuck yeah. <laughs> Fuck yeah. <laughs> what did it change? Imagine arguing with a nigga, full blown ass argument. And he's like, I got you scheme. Suck it up. I, it just is what it is. Mm -hmm. We got, we got, we got money to make. We got shit to do. Like so, it, it's it's a humbling experience yeah. for Man. sure. Because you ain't never lied. <laughs> he, he he has gotten to see me and tell me if I'm the wrong. most vulnerable space probably. Super, but going from super like I don't give a fuck about what you're doing. There was a point where me and him was fucking and he was messing with other bitches. I was messing with other niggas and it was I didn't give a fuck about what he was doing, who he was doing it with. We was living together. I was like, all right, nigga, I'm out. Uh. It was nothing. Yeah. We started like liking each other and I just let him know. I was like, I have different expectations as, as a girlfriend. So I literally have a switch. Yeah. When I'm single, I'm single. Don't question me about shit. Don't ask me about shit. And I'm going to move how the, the fuck I want to move. I'm going to do what the fuck I want to do. Even when niggas be like, we exclusive, I still tread that line because we ain't in no relationship. So if a nigga come along, it, it is yeah. here and there, but I'm not actively seeking anybody. Yeah. So relationship is, you know, I don't like that. Yeah. Mm. Don't Period. do that. Facts. And 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 again, the male ego being fragile, and sometimes w women being as emotional as we are, it's like, <sighs> yeah, you never said that before, right? What do you mean? You don't like that, right? You don't like me, right? Oh my God, we're gonna break up. This is right. not gonna work, right? Like, so it's it's a lot of emotion right. that right. that is now intertwined in it, and yeah. and the the shit that has changed is just navigating right. through that emotion. Mm. It's navigating through that we got into a big ass fucking argument last night, but we are part of a whole group. And we not the only two people in this motherfucker, so we yeah. gotta operate. And yeah. niggas don't need to know that we had a full blown argument yeah. unless we, of course, talk to niggas about yeah. it off the business tip. Yeah. But it, it that is the biggest thing that has changed. It's that we work together, we are in an intimate romantic relationship, and right. we're best friends. Pause one second before we continue this. Hold up. No problem. What's the name? Just tell me. Bad, thank you. Yo, uh, again, um, before we continue this conversation, we are in Atlanta. I uh, definitely want to say super, super thank you to the person that let us use use this spot. You know what I'm saying? It might be a little louder in the background. I don't know if y'all can hear the audio, but our mics is good, so we should be good. Facts. Shout out to y'all for uh, thugging through it. But I just want to shout out to um, Studio. Um, is it, is, is what, what, is FD1 Studios, right? FD1 Studios, um, and then also what, why is ATL? He also does TV mounting. Um, security hey. cameras, uh, additional outlets, yeah. uh, ceiling fans, light fixtures. Yo, if you ever want to check him out, make sure you check him out. He's a number as well, uh, 678-849-4205. That's what oh. wires. Uh, the name of the studio, one more time, Tim. FD1. 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 Uh, shout out to you. We actually in Riverdale. So shout out to them. If you ever need a studio space, make sure you check them out. If you ever need some TV mounting, if you need uh, to move remove some security wires and things like that, you want to uh, put up a security camera, all that. He get it done. One more time. That's 678-849-4205. Um, so we're back to business and relationships, right? Yeah, so so that that was really the 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 biggest thing is just 
learning how to balance and for me personally it, it it's a it's a maturity thing mm -hmm. so it, it helps with my emotion of being like girl you can't act like this right now that shit's stupid like mm -hmm. like it would literally would just be hurting you and him and affecting everybody else around mm -hmm. you let's get the business handled but that nigga will know Do i'm still not fucking with you but we talk about it later is so it <laughs> i will give tk her proper credit she is really good at this um i come from if you if you make me mad or we we're into it or i make you mad whatever it's just like don't i, I can't engage with this woman until she's ready to talk tk is able to put on different hats so if i make an example like if i make her mad and like the relationship part of our relationship She's able to go and Do put on the best friend relation, mm. the, the best friend hat, or she can put on the business hat and still get yeah. the skit done. You know what I'm saying? If we got to do it, but in my mind, I'm operating like this bitch still mad. She, she ain't <laughs> yeah. fucking with me, so we can't. But she helps push me exactly. like to understand the move. So I was gonna more. say, I'm um, speaking to that right. Like so, Sade is actually so. I want to give her our props as well, right? So, like, we're 55 weeks into the podcast, mm -hmm. but it's more than 55. Thank you. Thank you. Man, that's it's, dope shit. It's more than 55 weeks because, like, it's been times where we didn't record. It's been times where we like, you know what? We're going to chill because it might have been mm -hmm. too much. Mm -hmm. However, it's been times where we got into arguments, and I know for a fact that Sade didn't want to record, and I watched her thug it out. Mm -hmm. So, I definitely want to give her our props, too. Yeah, and shout it's, out to you. It's crazy shout because, out like, to you. even yeah. me in those moments, man. I wonder how like, you think. Because like, like in my mind, it's like, man, is. fuck this, ooh, bro. Yeah. But it's like, she's still going and, and, and I'm almost like. Cause we made a commitment. Yeah, yeah. and I'm thinking like, this is dope to <laughs> yeah. see her yeah. do this, like to push through. Cause I know in my mind, I don't want to do it, but this is what I do. Yeah. You gotta understand this is, she's new to this. Like she's 50, she's 55, 60 weeks into this. Yeah, I've been doing, doing content. Shit. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So yeah. for her to see her, Stick this out. That's crazy. I'm like, that's damn. Crazy. I'm yeah, like, yo, crazy. to watch her stick this out is dope yeah. for me because, like, this is my job. This is what yeah. I got to do. Hey, yeah. hey, and let me tell you this up. picking oh, a partner is the most important thing you will ever do. Mm. Yeah. That is the most it important affects decision. It affects everything. So, the fact that she can do that is going to help you grow so much Not more. It's, fact. man, I'm telling you, because there's some girls that'll sit here, she'll start flipping all the shit over. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Now you got yeah. broke. Oh, I mean, we've we, 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 we been through that, that's though. Right. Okay, well, okay. I'm luckily I'm just saying, mean, like, luckily, me, the like mic, that, luckily the mic she flipped over was like $100. Yeah. Well, well, what, what I'm saying is, it wasn't one of these. That's pre, what I'm saying that's is, pre she, she could have just, like, walked off and y'all didn't record or just, like, made it to where you couldn't quit. You know what I'm saying? And she's probably working on that as a person, I hope. But, yeah. But now it's ways, it's like, it's just 10 times. Even, like, we had a little viral moment or whatever, and it's like, just this. For me, it was just like to see her here. You know what I'm saying? That was the dope part for me. Mm -hmm. It was like, mm -hmm. like I've had yeah, viral moments you. before, and it's just like, yo, like to see you here. Yeah. Because like I, I one time I've told, and we had to have these conversations, yeah. these hard conversations. Yeah. I, like I, I remember telling Shade, I'm like, yo, I just feel like you're not consistent at anything. Mm -hmm. And like, it sound harsh, oh right? Oh my God. But yeah, I'm just saying. I, 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 oh my God. I've literally said this to her, <laughs> right? Oh, <laughs> oh, my so it's like, oh my God. So it's like, I'm like, yeah, I felt like you're not consistent at anything, right? And like, Why yeah, that was a hard thing to say because she would come to me so many yeah. times with ideas and like things that she wanted to do. And they're like, for me, I wanted to get excited, but I couldn't because every time you mm -hmm. started something, you would never finish. Mm -hmm. So it's like, I'm not hating. And she would think I was hating at one point in time, but it's not hate. It's like, yo, you got to show me something. I right? got to switch my head like Ray J in here, man. Come on, <laughs> man. You over here talking, dog. <laughs> <bro. laughs> but I brought You're it to her attention. And, and just like I can say that to her, I should be able to say, yo, we're like, again, this is episode 55. Yeah. But it's so many episodes yeah. that we did. It's times where we didn't record both yeah. of us. It was on both of our court. So mm -hmm. I say, I just say that to say like, it's it's only 55 episodes, but it's more than 55 mm -hmm. weeks. Right. And that shows the, just the testament of her, her dedication to this. Right. And I'm like, when we went, when we had that viral moment, I'm like, yo, yeah. you're here. Yeah. Like it's times where she comes to me and it's like, I want to be like, you don't know what the fuck you talking about, whatever yeah. it can be. But it's like the fact that, She's there mentally, yeah. right? I'm like, damn, that's this that's nigga dope. is a godsend yeah. right now. I don't yeah. know who sent you in my life right now, but I promise you, it was God. That sent everything, every time you've talked, you've literally hit on something we went yeah. through. I feel like, yeah. but I feel like that's a, and that's why I want to yeah. have these conversations. And it's crazy because even you know, the transition of our podcast. We ain't gonna talk about how or what, right? But like the transition of our podcast, everything happens for a reason. Mm -hmm. I remember having conversations with my friends, like, yo, wait, transition I want to, from what to what? This is where we at right now. That's how it's oh, going. So, <laughs> the transition to our podcast is dope because, like, you know, everything happens for a reason, right? Yeah. And, like, even if our numbers was the, the dwindle down because it's lacking, I don't know, excitement or anything, yeah. the message is pure. It's more, yeah. it's pure right now, right? So, like, yeah. I feel like couples, couples can relate to these conversations. Yeah. yeah. And I feel like I wanted to get away from those back and forth and, like, yeah. you know, just the, the, the entertainment part to yeah. have purpose, yeah. right? Because yeah. I feel like when you leave with purpose, 
It's always, always going to be something. Yeah. Everything right? always falls and in I, place. And I was telling my friends, like, y'all want to be, I want to get to a point where we can have conversations in our relationship yeah. and talk real relationship yeah. shit, yeah. but talk about our problems and, and how we got through it. for a while. Yeah. And like, now look yeah. at this, right? Yeah. Like, yeah. and it's crazy. Full like, circle. That's just, just beautiful. Wanna, yeah. But far as, let's get back to business. How hard is it to have a relationship and do business? Because I feel like a lot of people see us and they want to be like, yo, yeah. why, why we can't do that? Or why we can't do a podcast? Why can't we do comedy skits? And y'all have no idea how hard it is. It's, for you too, right? All of us. It's the mo it's challenging. It's I, there's so many components to it because you gotta take somebody's background into consideration. So what they come from, you gotta take like just money. One of the top three reasons for divorce is finances. Yeah. Mm. So meaning that that's one of the most intimate and sacred things. So now you're bringing a relationship in this where y'all have to a relationship in business where y'all have to cross money. Mm. And it's like it's a real like you got to tread lightly in that in that area. You can't cuz what's what's what was what's smart to you or good for you to do is scary for yeah. her. Like yeah. you might have this not like nigga this is easy. Yeah. But to her it's 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 territory unventured. So yeah. it's you got to be man, you got to be the yeah. most patient, but you have to be actively working at trying yeah. to how to navigate cuz you'll see the vision. Yeah. But you got to take her through it. Yeah. But it's I, hard. I, I think on, on the other aspect um a lot of women uh specifically pull your mic closer. Um a lot of women specifically oh, uh yes. be careful. Yeah, I got you. Are we good? Yeah. All yeah, right. A lot of women um specifically black women we have a hard time receiving mm. information mm. because we don't always think it's coming from the best place. Yeah. Um, and, and a lot of times it doesn't seem like, like think about how many men you done met in your life, in your life, in your life. And I, I see the star in you. I see, girl, okay. oh, this is what you need to do and uh -huh. blah, blah, blah. And the okay. moment y'all fall out, the moment y'all don't agree, it's fuck, fuck that, you, bitch. dumbass bitch. You ain't have shit mm. before you oh, met damn. me, right. blah, blah, blah. So it's really hard. Mm. Mm -hmm. um to to it's the trusting mm -hmm. aspect so for him it's the it's, it's more patient for me it's the i trust him enough to be wow. like he say this all the time i might drive you drive you crazy but i never steal you wrong mm -hmm. um and Damn. that's and that's some real shit because he i'd be ready to knock this nigga block off but yeah. i know ultimately i trust, I trust him, him enough yeah. to like if i'm falling i'm i'm not gonna hit the yeah. ground you know, he'll be like, oh, all right, you see why you can't yeah. do that now, right? Okay, you see why you can't do that? All right, yeah. let's get back up. Let's let's start over. Let's Damn. do this. So on on one end, it's the, it's the communication. On the other end, for me, it's, it's being receptive mm -hmm. to that. I am super open to learn. I mm -hmm. fucking love learning. Mm -hmm. I sit here and watch this nigga and be like this. And I'm like, no, nah, no, nah, I'm just watching you look good. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, you, doing, mm -hmm. you doing your little, you know, your little mm -hmm. leader thing. I like that. I, I like to see that in my man. So for me, I, I like to learn from him. Yeah. But a lot of women have a a a complex yeah. with learning from men because again it goes back yeah. to what we were talking about about the broken household yeah. you, you was either raised you was probably raised by a black woman yeah. you ain't never had to answer to no yeah. nigga ain't never had to talk yeah. to no nigga so yeah. now a, a, a man who, with good intentions is like Look, like that conversation right. me and Lonnie had the same yeah. thing and he didn't say it probably as blunt as you are because you're above the Mason Dixon line so, yeah. <laughs> so he probably he didn't, I definitely say, said, like, yeah, he didn't say it as harsh as you are but he, he his thing was more so yeah, you just gotta be more consistent. That's the yeah. only thing stopping you. Yeah. You make a lot of excuses. Like <laughs> that, that was really what it yeah. is. And I was like, yeah. Huh. And a lot of women, but we don't I want, mean, we don't want right. to hear that shit. But yeah. we know it's already, we already yeah. know it about ourselves. Yeah. Yeah. So being, what I mean by being receptive is understanding it. It's a girl. Well, you've been talking to well, yourself about it anyway. It's understanding what place is coming from. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. It's not, I'm not trying to harm you. I'm trying to help you. Yeah, you know? and so that was it's something, hard for women to see even that even through Jay and our relationship that I've grown through. Because like you said, it's like you experienced things in your past, and it's like. Motherfucker, don't tell me nothing because you motherfuckers tell me a lot of shit. And, and then nothing after, happens. And nothing happens. <laughs> right. But then, you know, when you really are growing somebody, you know, we are going on three years in in the next couple of weeks. And right. you know what I'm saying? Like, thank you, but it's been a road. You right. know what I'm saying? Because like you said, like, I will be honest, I am a woman that's not as receptive to men sometimes because I have been let down in those ways. And I think the older I get, like, it's more... I'm I'm more open to admit that than I was prior when I was younger because again we always think we have the answers especially for ourselves you can't yeah. tell me nothing about me that I don't know about me you feel what right, I'm saying right 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 however like me. you said like if you tell me something about me and I already know it but I'm telling myself a lot nicer and you coming at me like uh you ain't consistent I'm like oh bitch I already well, know this all the time I already know that you know what I'm saying yeah, you know that tell me I know what I am working on and I know what I am doing and you know what I'm saying it comes from that place yeah, but again yeah. just understanding what place is coming from I'm not harming you I'm trying to help you so it's a it's a I difference it's not, I'm not hard, then what's the hardest part about working 
and being in a relationship, working with somebody that you're in a relationship with? Um, what I will say is like, I, again, like I think something that I've been learning and that I'm continuously practicing is just like, just be, it. you can receive information from anywhere. It, it doesn't even matter if you feel like it's like, sometimes like, I feel like, like our challenge would be like, I'll know something. Jay will know something, but Jay be like, just trust me. But I'm like, motherfucker, I know. For a motherfucker fact, that may not work like that. Like, yeah. listen to me. Like, listen yeah. to me. Like, trust me too. For once. Like, for <laughs> once, right? However, you know, I'm trusting when we're talking about a certain lane, this is his lane. Yeah. So I might know something, but this is still his lane. Yeah, and I don't know. You get what I'm saying? I don't know, I don't know nothing know. about this lane. So just still growing into that. So I think that's like the hardest thing is like when I feel like I know something already and it might not be in the lane, but it's around the field. Like, uh, it's the element. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, I get what you're saying, but I know. Like, right, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Like, exactly it's like, I get what you're trying to say, but I'm trying to tell you, just trusting somebody else who is in their lane and in their vision and trusting that, you know what I mean? So right. it's hard to do that, you though. It's very hard came, to do that. What, what all I heard that needs to happen is communication. Yeah. And I only say this because me and TK experienced two situations in which we were able to, because we affected, well, it, one was happenstance, but we the business side there was something that was going on and i was trying to get her to see that there was a bigger picture so i was asking mm. her to trust me and she was coming Texas from <laughs> i know this i know this yeah. place yeah so it's not gonna be what you yeah. said it was granted in that situation it was i was right in that situation right however there was another situation where it encountered this is the the, the relationship part well kind of like our, our our relationship part yeah. of our relationship but there was a, a girl who I was trying to mend the relationship with, uh, our friendship with, mm -hmm. and she was able to communicate with me why, like, I didn't need her, this, this friendship yeah. in my life. Right. Because she was able to, like, break that yeah. down for me. But when, in my situation, when I was right, I couldn't break down effectively okay. to get, make it sense, it makes sense to her. To her. Men, yeah. like, just, just, just trust me. She yeah. was able to, <laughs> yes. to break it down for me. And, and that's I think that's so all gas, no breaks. I think, that's, I think that's a man problem. Like, we always mm -hmm. want, like, we don't know how to communicate it out to yeah. our woman for them to understand, right? Exactly. Like, we always talk about communication and, and somebody understanding us, but we don't talk about the part we play in for somebody to understand us because yeah. yeah. like if somebody don't understand me clearly they shut something. down right yeah. or not even you shut down right but if somebody up. don't understand yeah. if somebody don't understand me and they continue not understanding me clearly it's my job to fix myself yeah. or not even fix myself to do something yeah. A different way, so you can, so I can approach the situation. Yeah. A lot of men don't even see it like yeah. that. They're exactly. like, I just can't talk to you, right? Yeah, yeah. And, and, and that's yeah. what I think. I feel like instead of us breaking down or shutting down and be like, yo, I can't talk to my woman. I want somebody I can talk to. Not, we got to look in the mirror and say, you know what? Okay, cool. Why is it that she don't understand me? What yeah. can I do yeah. to better my approach, right? Yeah. To be understanding, or what can I do instead of going to the conversation of like. Yeah. Wanting to be understood, I need to go to the conversation of wanting yeah. to understand, right? Yeah. Because now it's like different. Now I'm yeah. coming to the under, I'm coming to the conversation with a different approach. Right. Now, like they say, if you change your mindset, you change your life, right? right? right. So now I'm always going through like, man, nobody understand me. My girl right. don't understand me. Why the fuck she can't understand me? Let me yeah. go to the uh, let me go to the the conversation and put all my feelings. Says, this is hard though, yeah. Because we always feel how we feel, and that's okay. But let me go to the conversation just to strictly understand what the fuck she has to say, yeah. right? Even though I feel like I was right. Let me go to this conversation yeah. to yeah. understand That's what she got to yeah. say. It's, about, it's, 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 yeah. it's, it's also about sure. meeting yeah. the person where they're at. Exactly. Yeah. You got to meet them where they at too. Yep. But on, on the flip side of that, y'all have to, you got to try to meet the person where they're at so y'all can meet in the middle on the compromise and meaning like you you see, you living in their world, but you understand, yeah. but you still have your point and y'all are communicating yeah. effectively. So what are some of the, that. what are some of the, the better things that y'all, that y'all like when working together? Pros. Yeah. Oh man, man, this nigga nonstop. Like, I'm the funniest bitch you know. Oh God. Period. I'm not the funniest bitch you know. <laughs> and I'm not the funniest nigga you know. You are. <laughs> <laughs> I told you I was after my daddy. <laughs> All right, then. My father really funny, yo. Like you might got like, that's why I like you. You feel me? <laughs> But I, uh, we, it's nonstop laughs. Yeah. Like, I, I you ever look at my phone, you be like, hey, how much I love your stupid ass, bro. Right, because like, you're annoying. You get on my goddamn funny I, shit. You, it's crazy because, not yeah. to cut you off, but no, like, good. I feel that way about my line brother. <laughs> <laughs> not my girl, but like, my line brother is a fucking idiot. Like, but he, everybody. Yeah, look, speaking of like, the devil, walking, walking, like, like, the nigga is Shout like, out to Morning After. Ridiculously <laughs> fucking. Uh -huh. I mean, childish, but it's like I love this. Like, <laughs> it's it's bigger so, for me. so you under, is the, and then hey, yo, childish, childish. So the, the pros are like he and I will sit down, mm -hmm. um, uh, and just rift off of each other. We can bring up one idea yeah. and go for like 30, 40 yeah. minutes, just go joking back yeah. and forth. 
when it's he and I, we in our own world, everybody else trying to understand what the fuck going on. You know on. how yeah. like um, yeah. you know how like niggas joke, how like 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 you know the difference between a man joke and a woman yeah. joke. Yeah, trust me, I know. I be trying to joke with her. She just yeah, nothing, but you know works. like when you be joking, stop. With, you know when you be joking with your niggas and y'all bring up shit, <laughs> y'all. Yeah. No, she can joke like a nigga. Okay. Like she, <laughs> yeah, see me. Yeah. Yeah. Nah, she can't make her like who want to cut ass. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> she is going. Yeah, I can't. Really joke well, who like want to cut I ass? Try to, I try to cut, joke with her like that, and it's just be like, why you wake up just wanting to be mean to me? <laughs> <'Cause> <laughs> he he don't get me wrong. Sometimes I got my moments. I mean, like, nah, because he do like he wake up just like you wake up saying I look pretty. Bro, I wake up just mean. Like, like, yeah, no, like, 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 just straight for the juggler. I'm like, whoa. Hold on. Let me. I didn't even brush my teeth yet. Exactly. I thought we were talking about the good. Come on, we man. Are, we are, but we just saying. I'm just saying, yeah, she can joke like a nigga. So that's the, that's the good police. in our relationship. There it is. I think for us, and well, for me, I don't know about you, but to, speaking to yours, I think for mine, it's like, yo, she's just always challenging me to like have patience and to be better. Honestly, mm -hmm. like it's the same. What she does for the business is the same thing she does for the relationship, right? Mm -hmm. And I feel like she, she kind of wanted to stop that for a second, and I was about to like break up with her because she was like, she was like, um, you was about to be break up with me. She was like, <laughs> she, uh, 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 she, she gonna tell me this is me? real story. She gonna tell me like, I'm not gonna always be keep giving you advice and like it's just for you and I ain't getting nothing from it. Like, wait, what? You don't get nothing I from was, it? I was having a bad day. I was being petty that day. I didn't even and I'm like, like that's the that's reason why I'm there yeah, like, because. She, this he, is who he, you he are for me. I didn't think he was gonna take that so personal. I definitely because it, I was really just being what, spicy. I was, to me. you know, what I'm saying it's time of the month. I was being a little catty, like get the fuck back. And I, he took it so personal. I'm like, oh my god, let it go. It wasn't that serious. I was just saying anything. But I know he did it. But yeah, he was like, what do you mean? You're not gonna help me anymore. I think like for like she brings like that extra. She you need brings to lock in what he's saying. Don't, don't bring it this way. Don't. Bring but not like she brings. She she gives me like you know. Um, she makes me be more patient, more responsibility. Like it challenging me to be a better person, and because mm -hmm. I love work so much, like shit, you challenging me to be a better talent is lit to me, right? Mm -hmm. Like that's what I think. What, what's the best part to you? You better stop sucking uh, that shit. Like I'm that. sorry, it's so you good. Only got like, I know God, it's damn, a lollipop. Damn, you made me feel bad. I'm over here. <laughs> exactly. Oh, exactly. She was wild. Oh, here goes. But, but, you know oh, I'm gonna tell hold you why. What we doing? Hold on. I'm gonna tell you why. TK no funny as shit. Cause TK keep I'm facing like, like this. Oh, oh, TK oh, over here like this. Hey man, take the hookah down. Hey. Every time, every time he made a comment, oh, I stop sucking the shit like that. I'm like, good. She over in the corner. Hey, but Jay, over, man. Jay oh, sees good. me in my corner, so I can't get away with it. Hell no, I wasn't looking at the corner. TK been wilding. I've been watching her. I ain't gonna throw you out there, sis. They keep throwing me. Oh, damn, I'm like, about like, I got you, you sis. I'm a roster. No, I can yeah. see it right here. I'm like, I feel you. I'm like, I feel you, sis. If I do it like that, though, it's gonna be World War Three. I was like, I was like, oh, stop pulling this bunch. <laughs> yeah, my fault, fuck it. Need a new coat. I had left my cat in heat. <laughs> my bad, and I ain't even realize it. So it's she like, all no, off. The, right. the best part of me damn. is like, you know, I just feel like, you know, Jay loves work. Like one thing about Jay, he do not stop. Like he won't work. His work is what is his fun to him. Like if he works, he works. Something keep rolling, keep oh, talking. Oh. I was trying to be like, <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, you know, he's actually was the hookah good. Uh, Kes, shout out to Kes Tim, Kes 22. Thank he's making trying to make sure the hookah good. Um, he loves to work and he does not stop working. Like, I could barely so because I get to join that with him because that's what he loves to do continuously. It just helps. drunk, but it's okay. I am not finish. drunk. I just, she I'm clumsy as fuck. Oh, she comes here. She dumb she's clumsy. Finished, I am clumsy as hell. <laughs> it's okay. Lex not even here. Imagine if Lex was here. Lex just, hey, just, she just DM me. I bet those drinks ain't better than mine. Sorry, speaking of drinks, hey, shout out to, <laughs> hey, shout out to Lex. Shout out to Mahi's Brandy. He's not here. Yeah. We ain't have any bottles to bring. I wish we could have brought y'all some. DMV based okay. uh, brandy. brandy is definitely good. We wish could, we could show y'all it, but we can't. Next but episode. that's the family, so we still gonna shout them out. I'm yeah. sorry, babe. Go ahead. The um, best part for you. Best part is me. Like I said, Jay just loves his work. He enjoys his work. You can't get Jay to stop working. Like it's like pulling teeth. So to be able to join in on something that he loves to do and we can yeah. share that together, I think that's very much of a highlight for me. Just because I don't have to continuously like wait for him to be done. Like, you know what I'm saying? We yeah, can just, we have something together. Yeah. You know what I mean? And like I think in the beginning of our relationship, he was always working, working, and like it's like Where's my time? Right. Like, but now for us to enjoy doing something together, I don't have to request that time in that way anymore. We have signature time. And even though we still have to make time and have a conscious decision to make sure outside of work to continuously 
you know, make our date nights and do that. But right. we still have something that we share together that's special. And I think that alone, because we are consistent with it and we're trying to continuously just do better in that and do better in ourselves, it's just a beautiful experience. So I agree. that's my that's I my agree. one of my favorite Well, parts. man, listen, that was great talking to you guys. Yes, um, Yo, I think it was great conversation. Yes. Uh, How you feel, uh, baby? You know, we don't have couples. We don't have couples. I know. You guys are like really our first couple. Hey. You guys are our first couple. So Shut we up. are excited. Lonnie and One of our few was first great. guests. Yes, honestly. Like, honestly, we probably had two it. other guests. Yeah. We don't have guests. Like, yeah. one other guest. We have one guest. Yeah, Shout so y'all like our second guest. Yeah. 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 Shout out to Lonnie and TK. Tell us where everybody can find you. Where can they find um, you? My Instagram is T E E K A Y Y T V. That's on all platforms. Uh, Twitter, TikTok, Instagram. On YouTube, it's just TK. Uh, T E E K A Y Y. Um, that's my biggest platform. I drop shit there twice a week, every week. Check in with your kid. Yeah. Uh, comedian Lonnie or Fenarios, <laughs> aka. I guess I could go by that. Uh, <laughs> Fenarios, F U N A R I O S. And then Comedian Lonnie, if you can't spell comedian, you need to go back to school. Period. Just kill yourself. <laughs> um, and Lonnie, L O N N I E. You can find me on all platforms. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Hey, man, we just want to say, yo, thank you for the uh, su- supporters. Thank you for the people that's been there from day one. Thank you for yes, the people that's sir. still there. Um, make sure you subscribe to the channel, turn turn your notification button on because that's the most important. Um, Gemini Scorpio Podcast. Hiller Bay. Hiller Bay. Mr. J Hill. Make sure you follow <laughs> us on the gram at the Gemini Scorpio Pod. We appreciate you guys. Um, we sorry for last week, but shit happens, nigga. And we here. It's a wrap. Back, Back. out. <laughs>